What's up everybody? It's a Gemini Prepper here. I'm here on the property. Decided to take a little walk on my property and, and something came to mind. It's not really something a lot of our preppers are talking about and the prepper community is chattering about, but if you currently are out of shape and you have a beer belly and you're currently feasting on some french fries and a mcdonald's sandwich or even burger king you might want to start changing your diet you want to start getting a little bit more healthy because if you have to fight uh you know your, your health is really going to depend on how well you can move as far as moving to another bug out location or how well you're going to be able to fight uh and we have to get tactical and we have to get technical and, and the technicality and the technical aspect of it is we really have to start looking at our diet and how well our bodies are operating when we have to go out and try to prepare or start bugging out because if you're having uh, let's say 50 pounds on your back and you're moving around um, there's no way that you're going to be able to do that sustain that for a long time so it really depends on how well um, you are basically in shape or how well you've been um, practicing with your bug out bag. I know the angry prepper all the time is going out and taking a walk and, you know, really trying to get his body moving. So, and also too, there's other preppers that have echoed it in the past, like the Canadian prepper talking about how, uh, how important it is to have that physical part of you to be strong in elements of prepping. A lot of us are sitting at the computer and typing away and we're prepping and we're storing things, but we're not getting the most essential thing prepared and that's our bodies, right? Our bodies need to be ready for the war or for the actual, you know, carnage or whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it, whatever's coming, we need to make sure we're physically ready. You wanna maybe start eating healthier, right? Get that, that, that blood pressure lower. You wanna make sure that you're not as heavy so you're not, hurting your back or your ankles or your knees while you're holding a 50 pound bag uh, of your equipment or um, you know just practicing in general do some push-ups people do some sit-ups people get your body in gear get your mind in gear because it seems like things are heating up quite 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 quickly and uh you know some of us haven't gone out there and, and did what we had to do physically so this is a, a message to all preppers anybody who's trying to get into a prepared mindset or even into the community itself start working on yourself too as well you being in shape and being prepared for a situation where you have to fight for your life is definitely an element of prepping where you need to keep that in mind and again i'm just saying this because it, it's a fact like it's 100 percent a fact that you need to be physically prepared to endure whatever it is that might be coming whether it's you're carrying things 50 pounds you're fighting an intruder you're fighting whatever it is fighting for your life right as preppers we try to maintain that element of being prepared at all times so this is one of those things that maybe some people don't want to hear but start working on yourself start working on your physical fitness because it is an element of prepping and it's something we need more than ever to start working on right now um so folks be technical be tactical i am the, the gemini prepper and we're out